I want to show you the latest data on child mortality in Tanzania. But I'm going to compare it with some other countries, and I'm going to start in 1960. This graph shows you child mortality. Look here, 100 children dying per 1,000 born, 200 and 300. This highest level means that almost one in three children will die before the age of five. And in 1960, you find Egypt, Congo and Tanzania in sub-Saharan Africa and Peru in Latin America at this very high level. Almost one child in three, one child in four didn't ma make it. What the tragedy it was at that time. Thailand, 1960, was already at almost half the level and the United States here represents the wealthy country that had almost zero in child mortality. But this was 50 years ago. Let me start this graph and let me show you how these countries go into the future and which ones of them have a falling child mortality and in which one this tragedy remains high. Here we go. Look, look, look. United States slowly goes down, but Thailand is falling fairly fast. Peru also falling fast. And here Egypt, Congo and Tanzania, the African countries were doing relatively well in the 60s and in the 70s, but even better was Latin America and Asia here, which was coming down, approaching the low level of the United States. Now it goes into the 1980s, and you can see that Tanzania and Congo goes into a period of stagnation, not so successful development, whereas Egypt continued to provide safe water for the families, vaccination and treatment for children, and child mortality falls down. Tragic stagnation in sub-Saharan Africa. But look now, at the turn of the century, Tanzania goes on again. They have economic growth, they have better use of aid money, and children get healthier and healthier, and it's falling down here. And now, in 2010, the latest data, Tanzania is already down to 76 children dying per 1,000 born. And yes, look, 2010. Tanzania today is closer to the wealthy part and healthy part of the world than it is to the tragedy of Congo. Of course, Congo is here because of a civil war that stops the progress of life, the progress of, of health. But where, why is Tanzania down here? Because malaria has been addressed head on, mosquito nets and effective drugs. Vaccination has been made available and families have been using this in the best way for their children. Is it due to aid? Not mainly. Mainly it is the capacity of the Tanzanian families that have increased. There's economic growth in Tanzania. The government is doing what it should do to help its children. But aid has also contributed greatly. Aid is most efficient in countries that are also doing well themselves, and especially these poorer countries where this aid money comes in so handy in, in providing the most important input for child survival. So here we are today. But the question I get now, so what about when these children survive? Will now the population grow very fast? Let me show you this. I have another graph here. On this graph, I have the same axis over here, child mortality, 100 dying, 200, 300 per 1,000 born. And I start 1961. And on this axis down here now, I have the size of family, the average number of children born per woman. Look here, two child families, four, six, even eight child families. 50 years ago, the developing world was up here. It had high child mortality and large families, whereas the developed world was down here with small families and very low child mortality. What has happened? I will show you all these almost 200 countries, how they progress. The size of the bubble here show the size of the population. So obviously this is China, this is India. The color of the bubbles show the continent. The yellowish ones here is the Americas the dark blue Africa south of Sahara, the green one here is the Arab world, and the red one is Pacific part of Asia, and the light blue there is South Asia. Watch out now. We start the world as 1960. There we go. And child mortality is falling. Family size is not decreasing. For Only when ch child mortality is low, then family size goes down. Look here, India goes there, Bangladesh goes here, 
Tanzania is now coming down. This is Tanzania. They are coming down to the levels of, of Thailand. And here now we see a little turn. This is the time for family planning in Tanzania. Let me compare where Tanzania is today compared to Thailand. Tanzania is more or less on the point where Thailand was 1972. It is now almost 40 years ago. So Tanzania is like 20 to 40 years behind Thailand. Now they need to do this. They need to have access not only to vaccine and mosquito net. Now they need the family planning and the what we call reproductive health for women. And then I will not be surprised if we will see two child families in Tanzania within 20 to 30 years. Because when we break down the data for Tanzania and look at the richest one fifth of the population, they already have three children per woman. Whereas the poorest part of the Tanzanian population, they don't have five, they have almost eight children per woman. Reach the poor with a basic service and we will get low child mortality and two child families in the whole world.